In this video, we're going to be looking at the Cellular Executor. It has been around for quite some time. And we're going to go ahead and compare it to the rest of the executors that are currently available. If you guys are interested in purchasing a Cellular license, then you can do so from the first link in the description, which will take you over to our website. I did have Cellular available on the store in the past and I have brought it back and I have made sure to bring it back for you guys. When you purchase from our website, you will be provided with all of the setup instructions. And at the very end of the setup, I do recommend turning this option right here on. If you do plan to turn on your virus and threat protection again, this will simply add Cellular to the exclusions folder so it doesn't get deleted when you turn that back on. When you launch Cellular for the first time, it will ask you to enter an email and this email will get linked to your license key. After you enter the email, it will ask you to create a password and at the end, it will ask you for the license key. Over here, just paste the same license key again that you used to download the executor from the website. Once you've done that, this is what the interface will look like. It is a little different from the rest of the executors that are currently available. Going into settings and general, you've got always on top. This will just keep the executor on top no matter what file you bring on top of it. In appearance, you've got a few different options that you can mess around with, including turning on and off the Christmas theme. In editor, you can change a few of the things to see how the actual script interface will look. Then you've got the keybinds, which is currently in development, so you can't really do much with this feature at the moment. Now down here, this rocket option, I'm not really sure what this does. Maybe it's like a script explorer, but it is also in development, so we can't actually take a look at this. And then the same applies for the last option over here. Now going back over to the first folder, this is where you've got the explorer, so you've got the scripts folder here and also your auto execute. Going back over to this folder icon, you've got the scripts and the auto execute folder here. This is very simple to navigate. You can simply click on the auto execute folder and then click on the script option and that will create a new script within the auto execute folder and then type in anything you want and then go ahead and click on save file. We'll go ahead and save that script within that folder. You don't have to open any other folders. You don't have to go anywhere. Everything is done within the executor. So the way the auto execute works is every time you inject into a new Roblox application, it will automatically execute every single script that is within this folder. So you don't have to actually paste it in and click execute. It will automatically execute that as soon as it injects. And as for the scripts folder, this is where you paste in any script that you want to be able to access quickly. So you can go ahead and simply double tap it and it will open it up within this tab. Now let's go ahead and jump into a Roblox game so I can show you this executor in action. As soon as you launch Roblox, it will automatically identify the instance and inject into it. Over here, it says attached already and it has one client connected. So if I had multiple instances opened, it will show up multiple of them over here. Let's go ahead and paste in a script and click on this execute button over here and just like that it has successfully executed the script and we can use the features without any problems you can also check when the license expires by clicking over on this icon right here and you can see it at the very top just over here and that was a quick dive into the cellular executor hopefully you did find this video informative like i said if you guys are interested in purchasing the executor then you can do so from the first link in the description and if you guys do require any support or if you do want to stay with the latest and the greatest news then make sure to join my discord server which will be the second link down in the description i have also noticed that a lot of people that watch the videos are not actually subscribed to the channel so make sure to smash that subscribe button guys and until next time time.